Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hello fellow collectors. Today on Double Down Reviews we are going to be going over The Incredible Hulk and Bruce Banner. And he's a massive figure. He's huge. Uh, <clears throat> Hulk doesn't come with a stand because his feet are big enough. He's sturdy enough. He's he's not going nowhere. He's a big boy. And then uh, they kind of put these weird, well not weird, I didn't understand them at first, but uh, it's like double jointed shoulders so you can have them relaxed and then you just kind of push them down so that way there's not a huge gap in his arms. Because I think that that was like one of the problems with uh, the Hulk from the first Avengers was people would like want to pose him like the Hulk, but then when they would do that, because it's like a foam, not foam body, but like a cast body over a body. Uh, it's like a rubber layer. Yeah. Um, so people would try to like pose him and it would push down and it wouldn't allow them to do stuff or pose. So you can push this down now and pose him and then lock it back into place so it doesn't have that gap. Yeah. Which is really good thinking on Hot Toys part. They also did, uh, he has got the, the rolling eyes. Is that what you call that? Yep. Let me pop the top off. And the other <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can pop the Hulk's head, or hair, because he wears a toupee. Yeah. And uh, there's pegs in there, so you can move his eyes to kind of however you want to pose him, make his fierce eyes looking in the direction. Plus... Who doesn't want to take the Hulk's hair off? That is the secret, Captain. He's always been bald. <laughs> <laughs> is this his magnetize on or what? Yeah, it just slides down onto his noggin like that. Not like that. It's not even on. There you go. Like that. You can't even tell that it wasn't ever there. Um, yeah. Lots of lots of detail on this guy. They, I actually just noticed earlier today, I was packing him up. Um, you can see the hair on his legs. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to. Well, I just mean it's like it's one of those little details that I've yeah, never noticed awesome. before. They, they go all out. <laughs> I was a little, I was a... <laughs> Is this Age of Ultron Hulk then? With his purple underwears on? Yeah. Okay. Age of Ultron Hulk with his stretchy pants so he doesn't need to blow any more money on purple shorts. Um, he came with two interchangeable hands. Uh, it came with another fist and another open, relaxed hand. It's like the size of a newborn baby's palm. Um, the fingers on these ones are wireframes, so you can pose them how you would like, or if you wanted the Hulk to be giving the finger to Captain America or something, you could do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I don't remember, what is that called? Ratchet? Yeah. They have the ratchets in them, so because I'm sure his limbs are so heavy that another figure they would just drop back yeah, down, like the rubber coating or something, so he can. There's like all of his limbs ratchet around, we bouncing on one foot. I don't know, but that seems kind of scary. Uh, can you do it? Uh, I don't know. This foot is. Uh, look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Hulk balance. <laughs> Hulk take river dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can get a lot of really cool uh, Hulk poses in with him. Um, just the way that they designed his hips and his legs to get him that, that low posture. He's also doing like a Johnny Bravo right now. <laughs> oh, hey, Mama. Uh, was this the one that came with, you could buy like that ultimate edition that came with the other torso? Yep, the or... upper torso. Yeah, I opted not to do that when I I was thinking about it at first it was another hundred dollars I think it was 375 for the deluxe version with the other torso um, and I was thinking about doing it but then it's just that's it like you can't, he was just like in a pose right you yeah you can't you up. can't move him there was no other you know if it was a separate head sculpt but it wasn't it was still like a screaming head sculpt and just hulk with his arms up it didn't seem worth 
the extra 100. I mean, if you got it laying around, go for it. If you want to have the Hulk standing like that, just remember that also puts, I think it's like it adds like two or three inches on the Hulk because his hands are so high up above his head. Mm. So if you have a display cabinet or something like that, he's probably not going to fit in there. He'll have to be on top. Um, the Hulk can't be contained. Nope. <clears throat> he's just always screaming. He's always angry. He's always got his toupee. Um, and then, of course, we've got... we got to do measure on Hulk. I thought we were going to measure him together. We'll do that. Stand him Stand up. up straight. Measurement on Hulk. About 18 inches tall. That's about it. His muscles can't handle his all pants. That. His pants will blow off. <laughs> <laughs> now we look at Puny Banner. Yep. Puny, puny banner. Mark Ruffalo, folks. Uh, this toy didn't come with a lot of accessories. Uh, I think cool. store or uh, retail on him was one, one eighty five, one eighty nine, something like that. So definitely the cheaper end for the hot toys. Um, I know he came with the scepter. He came with a watch. That's kind of nice because it covers up his uh, wrist joint. He came with glasses. Uh, he also came with. A uh, separate coat and a couple different hands, just like a suit coat to go with. Um, it's yeah. like six extra hands. Open hands, palms, relaxed hands. He's got fists, he's got open hands. Um, he's got sweet kicks. He does. And little skinny legs. They look like little moccasins. <laughs> uh, they did a really good job on this figure. Really good detail. Looks just like Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, it's a um, head sculpt. If you get him, be careful about the glasses. They're not full glasses. Um, they just kind of go in and turn, so they have to rest just right. Otherwise, they'll pop out. Um, and they're out. Just like that. <clears throat> Perfect. And then they look good, though. Look yeah, it looks really good. Even the detail on the watch, you can actually see what time it says on the watch. It's like 10, 20 in the morning or something like that. Or at night. Uh, he comes with the scepter from Avengers, standard Hot Toys base, and I believe Banner is puny puny. What's his measurement? I think he's like 11 inches or something like that. Oh, it's just about 12. Oh, 11 and 3 quarters. But compared to <laughs> Hulk! <laughs> that sounds like the, the, uh, the German... The guy from Young Frankenstein. The German police officer of Young Frankenstein. It's like, <laughs> over! <laughs> there! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at articulation on Banner and then Hulk. Banner has ankle articulation, knee joint, fold up. Uh, so he's got a thigh cut for left and right. Leg joints here, front and back. Waist, forward and back, mid torso cut. He's like maybe a soft rubber chest. Uh, give me this scepter. You got wrist joints on pegs, elbow joints, shoulder joints, out back and forth. Shirt doesn't really cause any restrictions due to the pants. Uh, neck on a little ball joint. The glasses just pop right off. Just like that. And they're gone. They're right there. <laughs> Magic. There you go. Banner. Also, we get a uh, Infinity Stone in here. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> nobody knew. Okay. Hulk. We already talked about the double, the like, cut-in shoulders, which I thought was really cool. You can have him standing straight up, just ready to pummel somebody if you wanted to, or grab Loki by the ankles again. Um, he's got, uh, I think they're just like ball joints that they put in his feet, like a traditional hot toy, but he's so big and heavy that I would recommend not taking his feet off. <laughs> Otherwise, he's probably not going to stand. Uh, he's got <clears throat> his knee. He's a great soccer player. Um, I don't think he has a thigh cut. I can't. No, he doesn't. 
You got the torso, and like I said, the entire upper body as well as the arms kind of has like, kind of has a um, like a rubber coating over the top of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the the seams are so big on the Hulk, or they would be so big, which is why they made the shorts of the elastic band, is otherwise you have that big ugly seam mm -hmm. across his knee. Yeah, you don't want to see that. No. Uh, so they put a rubber suit pretty much over like his torso and his arms. Uh, just be careful with it. I've read online people kind of have <clears throat> problems with this stuff can like wear and crack if you haven't posed for too long in a certain way. Be careful about that. Be warned. Otherwise, uh, like we said, the wire frames in the hands, his wrists on the ball joints. Um, I think that's pretty much all you got for Hulk, but that's fine because he's not a crazy uh, posable guy. Yes, he's a ballerina. He's a ballerina. We did see him balance, but <laughs> we saw the balance. Like I said, no stand for Hulk. How much was Hulk? Two seventy four ninety nine. It's not bad. It's a lot of figure. It's got some weight to him. Yeah. When I got him shipped, it said the parcel weight was eight pounds. So it's pretty much like a, a, a newborn baby. There's uh, Hulk and Banner, his alter ego, back to back. A little comparison there. Anything else you got to say? I love this figure. I think the two of them going together complements each other really well. Um, yeah. If you're a fan of the Incredible Hulk, uh, the Avengers, anything like that, or you need to throw them in your collection, I say do it. Pull the trigger. It's an awesome figure. What if you're a fan of Lou Ferrigno? If you're a fan of Lou Ferrigno, probably wait <laughs> for a Lou Ferrigno figure. For a Lou Ferrigno figure. I'm going to be waiting for a while. Uh, all right. Well, that's all we got. Got any questions, comments, let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Hulk, no! <laughs>